photosensitivity warning. Do not play if you have medical reasons to not play this game. Set up gamma. This is the first demo that I've played that has asked me to set up gamma. Enable subtitles. Yeah, I like subtitles. Colors. Wow, okay. I'm impressed. Modern first person camera control or classic third world cam third person camera mode. Uh I think I would prefer classic. Let's try modern. Because it's modern. Use WASD only. Use WASD with the camera or with the mouse. I honestly don't I don't know. I appreciate when games give me choices like that where it's like, please tell me what kind of UI you would like. What kind of interface do you prefer? I like that a lot. I don't know what the answer is, and I would appreciate if the game could help me out. Training will begin with reviewing and testing fleet functionality necessary for future missions. Okay. All right, right click to uh, turn the camera. WASD doesn't do anything. Mission goals are expressed as objectives. Missions may require multiple objectives to be accomplished, either linearly or concurrently. Can't click this. Situational awareness is key for control over the battlefield. Oh, are those enemies over there? Yeah, right click will orbit the camera. Practice and rotating that. your view. Rotate your view to get a better angle of the mission area. Center the view on the mothership. All right, I'm doing it. Now rotate to look at the asteroid bay. Prove that you have played a game before. And now, rotate your view to look at the friendly carrier. Uh, which one is that? Oh. Next is moving your view. Attempt this now. Yeah, I can move now. Move your view to closely view the nearby asteroid bay. Going Finally, in there. Adjust the height of your view um, to gain too deep. or reduce elevation in the mission area. How do I adjust elevation? Ah. Cool, I have verified that I... close view of the allied carrier above now. No, how... Basics work. Can we move on to the game? <laughs> can we move the on to the game? can accomplish the same task, albeit more easily. Try this now. Cool. Scroll wheel. It does what you'd expect. At any time, the mothership can be quickly returned to via a dedicated command. Try this now. Uh, what is it? Backspace? Attention. There we go. Backspace is not a good key. Pressing space will switch the to... Manager is critical for quickly surveying the entire I would like to do it. All at once. You can't tell me to do it and not good. let me do it. The direction of critical okay. positions in the mission area will be shown on the sensor's gyro. Yep. The first marker shows the direction of the mothership. This second marker points towards objectives and related points of interest. Finally, the last marker indicates the direction of any combat events currently underway. Okay, the thanks. sensors manager allows you to see the positions of the fleet, as well as their line of sight. Orders can also be issued from this view. All units have a sensor's range. Their effective sighting radius as a sphere around them. It's kind of hard to see units that. Units outside this range are usually undetectable, and these areas are the dark fields of the sensors manager. All units have differing sensors range. Spreading ships out, or building units that specialize in high sensor range, can provide crucial information on enemy positions. That makes sense. Resources are highlighted with triangular points of interest. Okay, resources. There they are. At any time, a tactical pause can be issued. 
Use this to your advantage to plan or issue orders under high stress or time critical situations. Really? Toggle. Press P. Does that work in multiplayer? Initiate and then cancel a tactical pause now. I'm doing it. Look at me pause. I'm pausing so hard. Units cannot react to orders. Likewise, objectives cannot Yes, you don't need to explain the concept of pausing. Operation speed can be reduced by intervals of 25% oh using God. a dedicated command. Try this now. It's the scroll wheel while holding P. Okay. That's that's a little clunky. Before beginning operations, we will focus on the mothership. Yes. Okay, good. Let's start playing the Oh my god. <laughs> it literally meant focus. Okay. okay. This can be done with a dedicated command to enter a Right focus alt? Field. What Try the fuck? Now. Okay, select the unit. Okay, I'm selecting the unit. Right alt plus F. There we go. When ships have been focused on, your view will be set to orbit around the subject. Attempt to orbit your view around okay, the or mouse ship three. in focus. Look at me, I'm doing it. I'm ready to play your the game. Can also be I, I don't mind learning this stuff as subject. I go, but Try I would like to now. go. Oh, I have to... Oh my god. Now for commands. <laughs> All unit operations begin by designating a unit to issue orders to. I was so excited to start this. How long have we been... How long has this tutorial been going on? It's like... This is like 10 minutes. Feels like it's been 30 minutes. Start by selecting the resource controller. Okay. I've done it. Yeah. Control. Not all ships are combat vessels. But each class of ship has a unique role, function, and set of abilities. The mothership is a slow but well-armored shipyard capable of fending off rudimentary threats on its own. The resource controller's resource ability is used to harvest resource units, RUs, oh my God. primarily from resource patches found in asteroids or structural debris. Resource collectors collect resources which are found in resource boxes, which are found in the resource sector. Blah, 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 blah. What is all, what? To harvest resources, select a resource collector, then click or press the hotkey of the res... This is... If I'm, if I'm at the point where this tutorial is helpful, this is absolutely gibberish. This needs to be newbie friendly. With the resource like, controller selected, begin I played with Homeworld too, so I know all I have to do is. These are used will be used in further ship production and research. Additional resource controllers allow the collection of RUs from multiple resource sites at the same time. Resource controllers are unarmed and should be protected. While very vulnerable, they have several additional uses, including recovering mission vital objectives in the AO, and in some circumstances, even capturing enemy ships. Growing the fleet is essential for every operation. Oh no, okay. Press B to build and research. Open the build okay. and research command interface to begin unit production. Uh, In I would like to research recon. Technology must be researched before production can begin. Recon strike craft are now available. I have spent research in order 20... to a small contingent of ships. I fleet. spent 150 triangles. Got it. Now that the technology is available, the fleet can be reinforced. <laughs> okay. Motherships and carriers specialize in unit production. Build Larger or more them. powerful ships take longer to build, as well as more resources. If the fleet runs out of resources, production will stall during its creation. Right. You need resources to do things. Are these resources? Oh, these are resources. Why did I go over there? Does it matter? Eh, it doesn't really matter. Hold L shift, R shift when selecting a ship. Military units Whatever. can be selected for orders like non-military ones, but all military units can be selected at once through the dedicated command. Try this now. What is the dedicated command? You can't just say, what? 
Oh, it's F4. Okay, got it. Move the contingent of recon ships to the marked point to scout beyond Oh, it's position. been seven minutes? It does not feel like it's been seven minutes. To issue a movement order, select at least one unit capable of movement, then tap the right click. Our or if I do it in take advantage space. of space as a shield against oncoming threats. During combat, pilots will attempt to take advantage of whatever cover is nearby. But giving them path directions that take advantage of cover can be paramount to mission success. Move complete. Uh, please go. Oh, I have to. Coordinates locked the tutorial in. is not letting me do that yet. I have to do this. Prove that I can right click on it. Scouts on station. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, over here. Move the strike craft to the marked destination near the terrain. Units can also be directed to positions out in open space. Scout on station. Coordinates confirmed. Alright, let me drag up. Cool. Attention. Hostile presence detected ahead. Okay, control, left click. Direct our units to engage the hostile presence. DC, we are on approach. You got room for us? Why are they going in that direction? What? Roll through. There we go. Very confusing. Flight coming in. Send figures. What? Come back. Uh, lock it up. Okay. I can't press. I cannot move my my uh, camera unless I'm okay. Got him. Receiving. Okay. Press and hold. Control. They're all over me. Let's okay, got it. Push your targets. Full burn. Increase power. Displace. Chink, chink. Can I focus? I can't. Locked up. Evading. These guys are useless. Come on. Defending. Priority wow. alert. Strike craft suffering heavy losses. You outnumber them like ten to one. How is this? Ship destroyed. What is? What are they? What are my guys doing? They're just going in circles. Can I get better? Can I'm I get better craft, in. please? This is the tutorial's way of telling me recon craft suck. Do not use them to fight. Up. But these are also recon craft, so this should be a very one-sided fight. Do I need to? Am I supposed to be Ready. micromanaging? Oh come on! No, I I just wanna. Please. Power in display. <sighs> this is incredible. Watch as two recon craft make a fool of my entire We're hit. force. Kinetic fire.
Why is my camera sinking? Oh, it's falling. It's still okay. Position secured. It took Shift way too long. Can also be controlled through formations and stances. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to do this. Start a new formation. Send it. I just, I just want to play the game. Moving into SO. You got us, lead? How do I formate? Formations change how ships align themselves in relation to one another. Formations can affect grouping, ability to focus fire damage, and even vulnerability to certain weapon types. In addition to placing units in formation, behavior can be fine-tuned through stances. Okay. Stance influences many factors, including unit formations, attack patterns, and cover usage. Free fire all contacts. Just watch your wing support. Copy fleet. Just keep us allied ships inbound. Okay, okay. DC, this is recon lead. Lock it up. Doing a lot better this time. I guess formation is pretty good. Or maybe this ship is pretty good. This carrier. Hostile destroyed. Okay. Transferring command of the Allied interceptor strike craft to you now. Ready. Your ships have suffered casualties. Replace and reinforce the fleet as resources become available. Units can be quickly repaired by sending them to dock with either the mothership or a carrier. I hated this dock part of the carrier now. Uh, Homeworld 2. This is such so it's so tedious to micromanage repairs. And it looks like this game oh. is no exception. <laughs> Access production and research. Okay, that was that. Oh, that was the that was the research. The carriers got it. Now I can actually build them, which is going to take forever because, of course, it is. Can I speed this up? Oh, it's the maximum speed. While carriers can't build capital ships, they are more mobile than the mothership and can quickly reposition themselves across a battlefield. This is the carrier. Carrier comms open. Reposition yourself over here, please. Oh boy, I love researching the upgrades for ability. What does this do? Temporary damage boost. Is this a thing I do or is this a passive? 
select intercept. Send message. Ah, there it is. It's the S key. Drastically increase weapon fire rate for a short time. It's a stim pack. Strikecraft to position beyond tunnel. Okay. Interceptor reads. Vector set. Coming around. Huh. Recon craft. These are strike craft, or these are interceptors. I guess it doesn't matter. Hostiles are intercepting a friendly carrier. We must provide aid. Do we Attack have to? The enemies now. I seem to be having trouble doing that. <laughs> Moving to intercept. Okay. Left control. There we go. Cycle target. Cover contact. Enemy strike craft. I have pressed overcharge. Hopefully, I did it at the right time. Attacking strike craft. Engaging strike craft. Uh, ideally, these guys should be getting the intercepted. Do I have to tell them to do that? Contact. Hostile strike craft. The combat effectiveness of an engagement force is often directly proportional to its ship composition, size, and ability to focus fire on an enemy. Cannon fire and missiles travel through real space and will collide with obstacles. Positioning ships behind large objects or behind other larger ships such as the mothership can significantly block the effect of certain enemy assaults. What? Targeting strike craft. Try putting your ships in cover. Try the strike craft on approach. The space game. Meet them head on. Okay, there's a bunch of smaller. Oh no, there's just two torpedoes. I thought there were like subsystems. Contact, strike craft. Oh, they destroyed the carrier? Uh, whatever. Target's reactor is surging. Assigning new target. Sensor alert. Enemy combat operations successful. I finally get to play the game now. All the techniques necessary for our main operations. You may in. exit basic combat training or remain for instructions on more advanced How do I how do I exit? No. <laughs> uh 
Uh, play the war games demo. Search and join multiplayer game. What? Oh, there's no, there's no single player. Okay, well, that's where I leave it then. I'm not doing multiplayer. Uh, I'm going to say that that tutorial is very reminiscent of my experience in Homeworld 2. And I feel like there were some lessons that could have been learned from Homeworld 2 that were not learned for Homeworld 3. I'm excited for this game, but that kind of blunted my excitement a bit. Anyway. Let's 